past 19 years, the district has really taken off and started growing. And from the demographic report that was presented in February, it seems like that growth rate is going to continue, if not increase. Now, over the last few months, it's been kind of eye-opening as you drive around and see all the developments and subdivisions that are under construction. The numbers that we're seeing just by looking at that construction is staggering. It's extremely exciting. My husband and I come out every day as we build our home and walk through the homes and really see the, the progress. We noticed that there are a lot of young families here also. We're trying to build our schools and stay ahead of the growth. There's a lot of new facilities. These are some of the best facilities that I've ever seen. In March, the new district natatorium has been completed. All the swim teams are starting to, to meet here in practice. We're also about to complete Arredondo Elementary School, which is in the Summer Park subdivision. It'll be completed on May 31st. That area is growing rapidly. We're also in full swing of the Fulcher High School and Dean Lehman Junior High in Fulcher, Texas. It is the talk of the town. We uh, have coffee with the principal or I have opportunities to, to get questions from parents. That's, that's often one of the first questions they're asking is, when is that high school coming? And which is going to be the first graduating class from that high school? And what it's going to look like for this town to have that high school here? So everybody's very excited. With the opening of Fulcher High School in 2016, that will keep Foster from reaching that 3,000 student population. And so it will help tremendously. I've been in the district now 20 years. And when I came here, it was a small district. We had less than 12,000 students. As the district grows, you know, everybody thinks that the Lamar CISD is going to be a large district and that the, the personality of the district is going to change. So far, the personality of our district has stayed the same, and maybe that's because we have our master plan principles set out by our board to keep our high schools at 2,000 enrollment. You know, that says a lot to keep that mentality like that and, and to where I can walk into all these schools and have a nice warm welcome. <laughs> that is so cute. What is your name?